Hey everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, we made it over into New Mexico. We're camped at a lake along the Rio Grande. I guess it's a, a reservoir that they've dammed and formed a lake. It's a nice dry camping spot here for eight bucks a night. But uh, we got a couple of stormy days coming through. Uh, you can already hear the wind kicking up here. It's supposed to get really bad tomorrow, maybe 50, 60 mile an hour winds. So I got the rig pointed towards where the wind's gonna come from and even hooked up the truck to kind of anchor us. But today I'm gonna take apart my weather station because the wind gauge on it's been making a heck of a racket lately. So I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can do something with that. So let's go inside, play around a bit. Okay, much nicer inside here out of the wind. So I tore the whole thing apart and I'll kind of give you an idea what I'm looking at. I think I can uh, solve the squeaky problem. Okay, so I got all the covers off, like about 12 little screws. And you can kind of see this is the, the thing that spins on top of the, the unit. And when it spins, in here, this piece spins inside and there's a magnet in here right there and as that spins it sits over top of this thing spins over top of that and inside this is a little pickup right there so every time it spins it opens up a, a connection and there a little switch opens and that tells the, the thing how fast it's spinning it can translate the wind speed but you can see I've gotten quite a bit of grid in there for a couple of seasons in the desert now, so a lot of this grit, grit and sand has worked its way in there, which is fine for that. But there's a couple little bearings in here. See right there. Kind of hear how that's kind of. <laughs> there's one down there too. So that grit's gotten in there, and the thing when it was on the roof it was making kind of a squeaky and rattling sound. So I'm gonna clean all the innards up of that. And then maybe I can get her back up top and we can see what our wind speed is tomorrow. Uh, we just had a big uh, wind event over near Kirichawa Mountains. It was, it, was pretty, it was blowing pretty good and we registered a high uh, wind speed of 68 kilometers an hour, which is about 42 miles an hour. So we'll see if we can beat that tomorrow. Okay, so I cleaned up the bearings and the bearing surfaces there and put a little bit of lubrication in. Now it's a lot smoother, got rid of all that grit. You can see it spinning in there. Spins pretty freely. So probably that 68 kilometers was even a little bit slow for what it should have been. Now, putting it back together, there's a little kind of a plastic thing that goes in there kind of to protect the electronics in there and uh, keep the wind out. This will shove up into there like that and then we'll have there's a couple uh, additional covers that snap on and then we can give her a test. So just out of curiosity I thought I'd pop this part apart you know I just had to see what's in there. I'm going to see up here, there's that pickup sensor for the wind, and it's got R S on it, I guess, for speed. A little black thing in there, RT, I guess that's the temperature pickup, and RH be the humidity sensor. And it goes down into this circuit board. Looks like there's some chip to process things. This looks like a little antenna for the wireless. Another little crystal in there, that silver thing is probably a crystal, a clock crystal for the chips and stuff. It looks clean in there, no problems in there. I don't see any signs of water intrusion, so should be good to go there. But I thought I'd pop it apart in case someone was curious to see what's in there. Okay. Got it all apart and all back together without breaking a single thing. Got it like that. You can see it runs off of two uh, C batteries. I find they usually go anywhere from four to six months, so it doesn't doesn't take much juice to run it. 
So we'll put that back together. Go mount it back up on the rig. See what we got. There we go. Back in business again. Let's see from the history on here. Last seven days we hit 68 kilometers an hour, like I say about 42 miles an hour. Currently we're hitting 36 kilometers an hour, maybe like 22 miles an hour, so we'll see how it goes. If you're interested in this, this particular uh, unit, it's a lacrosse, um, I'll post the model number in uh, the description. Um, I believe this one is uh, obsolete now. I sort of got it on sale. I think it was about $69, about half price. It was closing out. But uh, there is a, a newer model that's a lot like it, so I'll post a link to that. Also, I'll post a link to my original review, and if you go through the comments on the review, I had asked for uh, some recommendations for weather stations, and a bunch of people came back with some pretty pretty good units. So, Until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.